Hey guys, it's John here. This is a quick tutorial on how to do a hyper zoom effect using PowerDirector. I checked online um, YouTube to see if there are any tutorials on how to do this. Uh, and this is what the hyper zoom effect looks like. So here's a video I made. I have five different takes on it. I like the last two here because I think they're the smoothest um, versus the first three here. So this is what it looks like. Okay, so that is the hyperzoom transition effect here. Now, so I'm going to show you how I did them. So I really don't want to talk about the first three because they were just kind of just experiments on how to do it. Um, but the last two here, so um, actually the second one I kind of like. So let me show you that one at least. Okay, so here we go. So here's the second one here. I kind of like the second one. This is seven frames long. So you can see what it looks like. Now, for when I bridge the two clips here, I did for the previous clip, of course, you're going to want to crop it so it goes in tightly. And then with the second clip, you want to go from a tight shot to the wider shot. And I bridged it to using this wipe soft um, transition effect. I put it over there. It's an overlap instead of a cross. And I added a backlight uh, effect to the uh, segment here. So that's what it looks like frame by frame. Now the third one was simple. This is basically a simple, simple fade effect. Um, again, overlap, and I added just the backlight. This one here is three, uh, one, two, three, three frames only. So you can see how the previous shot zooms in really quickly by the end of it, and and on top of that you have the uh, the other shot here, the second shot, which goes from a tight shot all the way to the wider shot. So it looks like that. Okay, so that's that. Three frames. Here's one, I believe, seven frames. So seven frames. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, no. Sorry, that's five frames right there. So I went from the tighter shot of the wreath to a closer shot. And I actually like this last one the best here, I think. Five shots. Five frames. There we go. So I'm going to take that. I'm going to show you how to do it here. So I'm just going to go back to that original wide shot of the wreath. So I'm going to take my clip here. I'm just going to put it right there. Okay, so how I did this is, is pretty simple. So I just go into the effect, the transition room. I'm going to just add in the fade. And I'm going to do it for five frames only. And I'm going to do an overlap style. Okay, so it goes from one frame to the other. So right now, it looks like this simple fade effect, fade transition. Nothing to it, right? Really simple. I'm going to go back here. I'm going to just split the, the, uh, the segment here. So I have that isolated by itself because now what I want to do here is I'm going to crop in. I'm going to take that tight shot of the wreath. So at the beginning here, it's, full, it's in frame. I'm going to add a keyframe going to duplicate that and I'm going to zoom in all the way. So a very quick in those five frames, it's going to go from a very wide shot to a tight shot. So we have that. So it looks like this right now, frame by frame. So you see the wreath zooming in, right? But the other thing I want to do here is uh, go into this other shot here. Okay. I'm going to count five frames. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to double click it because I want to adjust the, uh, the uh, scale of it. So at th by the fifth frame, I want it to stay fully intact here. So I'm going to do a keyframe right there. I'm going to take this back to the beginning of the frame. I'm going to do another keyframe here, but this time I'm going to scale it so it's bigger. So I'm going to do, let's do three to three. So a very tight, a very close up shot. So now what that looks like here is frame by frame, one, two, three, four, five. It's kind of tough to see it, but it's there. Hit OK. So right now it looks like this. Ready? Oh, actually exited. OK. 
So it looks like this right now. Just like that. So nothing to it, right? It's going to be smoother when you actually make the video, so don't worry about that. I'm going to go to the special effects room here. I'm going to take that backlight. It's going to add it to there. I'm going to cut. I'm going to just clip it, split it right there so it's only on the, these, on these five frames where I need it. So now it looks like this. Just like that. So frame by frame. Ready? So I'm going to go to... It's going to look like this. So here is the wreath wide shot, I mean close up, now it starts the backlight effect, it starts to zoom in because of the crop I did, and then it's overlaying with the other shot, and gives you that. So basically, this is what it looks like. And that's it, pretty simple. So if you guys have any other ways of doing this hyper zoom effect, I would definitely love to know how you did it. Um, it took me just a little bit of experimenting, but that is the simple way of how to achieve this hyper zoom effect.